Oh, it doesn't matter about any of that. I'll have the window open anyway. Usually a year's lease is mandatory, but we are letting offices now for six months. And would even consider a three-month lease. Just for today. Just until lunch. You can't rent an office in the morning. Why are you locking us in? If anybody comes near that door, if anybody tries to break that door down, if anyone tries to stop me, I will kill them. Kill them? Kill them. What's going to happen at 12 o'clock? All the people down there are going to find their arrogant, self-important little lives somewhat interrupted. A sniper is just a hunter with a human target. It's up to you, Margaret. Their lives are in your hands. Phyllis <laughs> Claire. Shoot into those streets. The police will be here in minutes. Even if you escape from here, from these streets, they'll hunt you down and they will kill you. I'll not be hunted. Of course you will. Look, there was that sniper in Glasgow. I remember it. The police shot and killed him. He may have been a sick man in need of help, someone to talk to, but he didn't stand a chance. Neither do you. So that's what I need, Margaret, is it? Someone to talk to and someone to listen to me, eh? Well, I'm talking to you, sweetheart, but you're not listening to me, are you, eh? Not really. Why? Because you are frightened. And even when you are, you're thinking all the time, how am I going to get out of this? How am I going to stop that madman? You are not really interested in me, are you, Margaret? No, I, I am. I do want to help you. Now, put down the rifle. Now, come back to the office with me and we will talk. I'll listen. I'll try to understand. I will do anything that I can. For me? Yes. Why? Why should you care about me? <gasps> I don't know. And that's it, is it? That's what you are offering me, is it? Your understanding. Well, that is not good enough, Margaret, is it? Not really. What more can I give you? What more do you want? Is it me? Is that what you want? Because if that's what you want, I'm right here. I'm not down there in that street. You've got what you want right here. You don't have to concern yourself with anyone else. I'm the girl you saw through that window. You want to see more of her? Here. You can see the rest. You can have it right here, stop right it. now. Stop it, stop it. But if I want you want. Just stop that. You don't know what I want. You can't give me what I want. I know who you are. Now you just stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. Go on, go on. Don't you dare expose yourself to me. I don't need, don't do it. Go on, go on. See, that was clever, eh? Oh, aye, aye. Distract his attention, eh? Ah, you just make him think about something else. Listen, you are beautiful. Don't you ever give yourself away so cheaply. If, if I had wanted that, you would have known the minute I came through that door, the very minute I came through that door, you would have known that. I don't want that. What I want is there, outside there, in that street. That's what I want. You want to die! What?
Why not? What makes you any different from your intended victims? I am the hunter. That's the difference. No. Because you don't want to die. Neither do they. Well, no, perhaps they will be better off, eh? They'd have no more fears. No more plans that can never succeed. No more dreams that can never come true. No more unhappiness. You can't decide that for them. What if you were down in that street? Someone else were up in this office with a gun pointed at you. Now, you wouldn't want your dreams and plans to come to an end, would you? Oh, they came to an end a long time ago. Then make new ones. That's too late. It's never too late. Oh, Margaret, really, it's never too late. It is. It's too late for me. No! What about your wife? What the hell do you know about my wife? There's a ring on your finger. Does she know where you are? What you're going to do? No, she doesn't. What's she going to feel when she reads about it? It'll be headlines in the American papers. Oh, no, no. It'll be reported. How a sniper murdered innocent victims from an office window? How the police hunted them down in some dark alley or bar, wherever it is they find you? How's she going to feel when she sees your name yeah. in your picture? When she realizes that her husband is the killer? She won't feel a thing. Of course she will. She will not. Why not? Because she left me. So why not? When? Oh, about a month ago. What happened? She said she had to get away, that I had driven her to it. I mean, I can't help being me, can I? Did you have a fight? No, no, we never had fights, so no, no. We just had silences. I'm a hunter, and she thought I was just a killer. So she left. Mind you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded that, you see, if she'd gone off on her own. But she took my boys with her. Three boys. Twelve, six, and four. I mean, how, how, how could they possibly understand, you know? Mind you, of course, I mean, she was far, far younger than I was, and... I mean, that really was the main problem. Anyway, they have a new daddy now. Does she intend to divorce you? She's not going to get the chance. Maybe if, if you called her and talked to her. No, 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 I, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Of course you could. Do you know where she is now? 187 Sackville Street, Cabbage Town. Sackville Street? That is just around the corner. I mean, it's great, really, isn't it? He's all right, you see. He's got a ready-made family. No sweat, no trouble, no work. It's all there for him. And I don't know anything about that man. I don't even know his name. What time does she go shopping every day? 12 o'clock. That clockwork every day? You don't care about those faceless people down there, do you? Your real target's your wife. Or will. He be with her. Day off today. Is he your real target? What about the children? She could have the children with her. You could miss her and hit one of them. Here we go. Is what you told me sufficient reason to kill them, too? Do you want to punish them? Leaving you, do you? Is that what you want? Is it? Give it to me.
Have you asked us up here? To get back from the door or fire straight through it. He means it. Go back. Call her, please. <laughs> It's okay, just relax. You can always rely on human beings to panic. It helps the confusion you see and helps you to escape. What are you waiting for? Why don't you escape? You can pass those people in the corridor by using me as hostages. Why you kept me here for is it? Well, get on with it. You can do what you want with me, but please just do it. I kept you here because I needed your company. But you were right. I actually needed your help. Well, I didn't give it to you. Help! You kill people. Oh, stop crying. You weren't down there. I was. I was. And your wife? Was she down there too? Was was that just for? Was that just a practice round? Are you still waiting for her to come? No, I'm not waiting for her. <laughs> what, what are you waiting for? Then why don't you escape? Escape? Margaret, where would I go? I don't know. <laughs> no! Right! <laughs> I just don't want you to keep crying. I can't stand to see you crying. I'm not going to hurt you. you. You must know that by now, right? Do they call you Maggie? What? From your name, they call you Maggie? No. Right, that's good. I mean, that would be uh, common. And you are not common. Don't you let anybody ever call you anything but Margaret. Margaret, that, that has respect. My wife called me by a nickname. I hated it, and she knew that. That's why she used it. No respect, you see, from my wife. No respect. Do you think she'll have any more for you now? No. Nope. Because she won't realize, you see, she won't understand. She will only know what she reads in the papers. It's like you said. I mean, it will, it'll shock her, seeing me up there in print, you know, my name there. Hey, maybe my photograph, eh? <laughs> it won't be personal, not to her. Of course it will. No, it won't, it won't. No, no, so it's, like, it's like something she's sharing with thousands of other people, you know? It's going to embarrass her for a while, it's going to upset her maybe, but at least she'll have to take notice of me, won't you, Margaret, eh? Eh? At least you won't be able to shut me out anymore, right? She won't be able to shut me out. Is that why you did it? To make her take notice of you? No. I did it for myself. I, I thought they'd be here before this. you've been waiting for? The place to come? I'll not be hunted. But now that they're here, you can't escape. Get back from the window. This is official police line. Do not draw. No one is allowed past the barricade. 
Look at them all down there, eh? Crawling around like a little blue mice, having trapped a rat, not quite sure what to do with it. Oh, will you look at that? The local SWAT team's arrived. <laughs> oh, AR-15. Grenades. Tear gas canisters. They think they've got up here half the Russian army. Give me that. Tell me what you want of me. This is Lieutenant Hutchinson. I told you, get back from the window. I'm standing in the center of the park. Out in the open. You want to talk? I want to talk. Let's do it. I'd best talk to the man, eh? Well, now, you are a very brave man, Lieutenant. Not very brave. The building is surrounded by armed policemen. There's no chance of an escape. You have two minutes to surrender. Or else you will do what? Storm the office? With an innocent young girl inside? I doubt that very much indeed. Release the girl. Then we'll deal. This has nothing to do with a girl. It has just to do with you and me, the hunter and the hunted. Her name is Margaret Lord, real estate agent. She showed him the office. Can you get up on the roof of that building? He's right, you know. You don't stand a chance. Two minutes isn't a long time to make a life and death decision, is it? You don't have to make that decision. That's why you kept me here. To escape through me. You know, I didn't think there was anyone left who cared. But you do, don't you? You really do care. What a pity it is too late. It's not too late. Do as the lieutenant asks, put down the gun and unlock the door. We'll walk out together. I'll stay beside you and... I won't leave your side. I swear it. No, I can't. I can't, I can't do that. You see, I, I'm a person who finds it very difficult to make decisions, and I've made one now, and I can't go back on that. Do you understand that, Margaret? I have to finish what I started. I understand. I don't need your company anymore. Now you can go. What? Go on, go now. Margaret! <laughs> Blanks. They're all blank cartridges. A few people may have been hurt down there in the panic, but I haven't killed anyone. Talk to them. It's too late. No, of course it's not too late. You give yourself this last chance. Souvenir. It's been nice talking to you. I've enjoyed your company, Margaret. No, please. Come on, get outside. The girl is coming out. Don't fire. I won't 
let you commit suicide. No! No, I have to to him. No! No! I have to pop! Call me Maggie.